back. So I'm just going to stay on the Mac for a while just to play around with it. The code is the same if you're on Windows or Mac, so it really doesn't matter. You just have other ways to work with it. So staying on the Mac here for a while, and uh, what are we going to do now? We need to start working with the customer's controller. We, we need to start actually sending some real data back using um, these controllers, right? So step one to actually start hooking up the customer's controller is having a look at our drawing again. How does the REST API talk to uh, the database? Well, it needs access, and let me zoom here, of course, to the business logic layer, right? So this is the drawing I made right here. We have the web API or REST API right here, and that needs access to the business logic layer. So that's the first thing we need to do. So let's try and do that. I know we kind of did this already in the last video, but I just want to show you for Mac users as well. Go in here, say, uh, edit preferences. Oh, we can actually expand this. I think that would be easier. And right-click projects and say, edit references. And here you need to have this checked. It's, I showed you on Windows, but now I also showed you guys on Mac. This needs to be checked right here. Good, so now we actually have access to that package. So notice what I just did was just gain the access right here. So these guys know each other. That's the first step. Now that they know each other, I can start using things from the package right here. So I can start using things from this package. But right now I'm not using anything. Notice that there's no relation right now in the actual class there's just the reference between the two classes. So the difference between references or dependencies and the using statements is the dependencies just means that we can talk together, but whenever I'm putting in user statement right here, I actually specifically explain to the system I'm using a very specific class. So the dependency is set up. Let's now actually go in and add the first dependency uh, for the actual business logic layer facade, right? So BLL facade like this, facade, uh, let's just call it facade for now equals new BLL facade. Now this is um, one way to actually get the facade, but later on we'll look at dependency injection to make this a lot prettier. But right now we're just creating a, a new facade class and that's fine. So we need to, of course, notice we still don't have the access. And that's because we, we only added the, the dependencies. We didn't actually explain to the system that we need to be using customer app BLL. So I just wanted to add that extra note right there that you actually have to explain to the system that you want to use the customer app. It's not enough with the dependency. So now we can start using the BLL facade. Yay! So how do we actually now get a list back instead of a list of strings? We want to actually get a list of customer business objects back. So we'll do a customer, customer BO for business object. That's what we actually want to return instead of a list of strings with our get request here that we used in the last lesson. And again, same problem, we need a quick fix here. We need to start using business objects, right? So again, it's not enough to know about the business app be a little layer. We also need to start using specific information in there. What's the last thing we need to do? Well, instead of returning a list of strings right here, guess what we need to do, guys? We just need to say facade and girls dot customer service dot get all boomy. We're done. What? Yes, because we spent all the other videos making the structure and making the shininess and the layering and so now we can just start using it. Look how simple that was. Now we have all available customers ready to return. That's all it took. So now we have the access point to the facade all the way down to the database with this guy right here actually. Let's try and save this and let's just for the fun of it right now it will be empty because I didn't actually add anything inside the database. So I think it'll make it'll be most fun we actually start having some data in here. So I won't test this yet. We'll just move further and then in the end we'll start testing when we get this implemented and the post implemented. Then we'll try testing it. See you next time.